So when we're talking today about education and engagement, uh, Oliver was talking about those, we're, I'm going to focus a little bit on that, some of that decision making that has to happen. Um, and very much, you know, our, our whole idea is to, to achieve that design with nature outcome and provide real life learning examples for our campus community. Not only the students who are here every day at UVic, but the faculty and staff, the people who really make up our campus community as a whole. So for many of you, uh, you, you're familiar with the UVic campus, but many of you don't know our rich history. Um, we are here on traditional Lekwungen, uh, Coast Salish lands. Um, it was very extensively forested, and it was once farmlands. Um, as many of you know, it was a military base, and then finally it was a campus as a part of Victoria College. So all of this um, rich history has really shaped where we are today and, and what, we're, what we consist of. Our campus community is a real city. We have currently over 19,000 students, uh, just over 4,000 faculty and staff with 122 buildings and facilities, 400 acres of land. We're split by two municipalities, Oak Bay and Saanich, and in fact, UVic is bigger than the municipality of Oak Bay when you look at population. We are a city because we contain all of these components Things like buildings and facilities like we're in today, but also ice rinks, housing, swimming pools, um, laboratories, classrooms, offices. So really it provides a unique opportunity for us to take advantage of a water-centric way of planning, uh, an opportunity to implement and showcase best practices on the ground. Um, UVic is the same kind of city. We face lots of different kinds of challenges. And what we look to is that knowledge and expertise from our students, our faculty and staff to help create practical and innovative solutions. As Oliver was saying, people aren't the problem, people can be the real solution, and that's what UVic is hoping to do. And when we talk about sustainability, we're looking at integrating um, sustainability into every aspect of what we're doing on campus, teaching, research, campus operations, and community partnerships. And when you talk about water, what a perfect theme, because really water is, is, is such a key central part to each one of these aspects. So UVic is unique. I'm sorry it's a little bit fuzzier on this screen, but um, we're, uh, we've got four major watersheds. We're at a height of land um, that, uh, that is, you know, consists of, of mainly the Boca Creek watershed, but also Hobbs Creek, Cadbury Bay, and Finnerty. So we're a really unique location for water, and looking at water plans, looking at water consumption and resource management. So our 2003 campus plan outlines UVic's commitment to low impact development, smart growth, um, desi uh, designed to enhance and restore our physical natural envir environment. And there's some key principles that came out of that. Um, academic and research excellence, compact growth, uh, transportation choices, the protection and restoration of natural areas, and uh, sustainable buildings and facilities. So as we've moved from that 2003 campus plan, we've been doing lots of really great things. And now UVic is at a time where, over the decades, we've brought together lots of these piecemeal approaches of, of, of showcasing innovation and bringing it into a much more broader, holistic perspective. And the question that we're asking right now is how can we create change, how can the University of Victoria create change that spreads to, into every community on Vancouver Island and then around the world. So when we're talking about the opportunity that UVic has, it's to look at how can the things that we do every single day here in terms of our campus operations, in terms of what we're teaching, what we're researching, how we create partnerships and give students the opportunity to help our communities to become healthier, greener places to live, work, and study. So UVic is currently in the process of developing a new sustainability policy and action plan. And we're kind of moving away from that incremental approach of doing great things on the ground in decision making, uh, where students are making great strides, where the administration is making great strides, into kind of more of a collaborative, holistic, and integrated approach to planning and implementation of sustainability on the ground. So we're really talking about how does a policy and action plan create that new business as usual for us. So our mandate has come from the 2007 strategic plan. We are um, cased with developing two things, a new campus sustainability policy, which is gonna be our overall vision, our high level commitment to sustainability from the university, and then the sustainability action plan. And that's really the, the meat and potatoes or tofu and veggies of what, how do you take that policy and, and make it a reality. So we have a number of different um, topics, um, things that you would obviously see and expect to hear, like water and waste management, but other areas like grounds, food and urban agriculture, um, energy, transportation and climate, green buildings and renovations, purchasing and social responsibility, 
the healthy campus community, uh, as well as governance, decision making, and sustainability resources. So a lot of the things that Oliver and Suzanne touched on, what do you need to make that recipe for success, are, have been mandated to us to, to include in this action plan. So it's really exciting for us because for the first time, UVic is going to be looking at taking all of these great things that have been happening over many years and bringing it into a more comprehensive approach. And um, you know, the, the neat opportunity is how we can take this and try things, use our campus as a living laboratory to make, um, make great strides, to fail sometimes, and to share those experiences with the, the municipalities, with the communities, and with the entire region for, for really moving into that, that new approach. So I'm going to take you on a tour later on today um, that's going to highlight lots of different things around that, with the water focus. Um, we're going to take a look at some new buildings. We're going to get to go up on top of a green roof. Uh, for those of you who might not have the best in terms of height, we can leave you downstairs. So that's okay. Um, we're going to go and check out some our waste, uh, treated wastewater system. Go and take a look at some of our landscaping projects and the whole concept around zero scaping and infrastructure. Um, we really are looking at a number of different synergies that have been happening over time. UVic has a, a campus green building program. Um, currently, we have three LEED Gold buildings here on campus, two which have been certified and one which is under certification right now. We've got two more under construction. Um, with that combination, we actually make, help make Greater Victoria the highest percentage of green buildings anywhere in Canada. It's that kind of commitment to integrated design, green buildings, and infrastructure that helps to fit in with this water-centric approach to planning. You need to make sure that your buildings, every element and every aspect, brings in that water theme, but also helps to create a, a healthier campus community and starts to thread together some of our, our long-term projects. We have an integrated stormwater management plan for campus. Um, a number of years ago, back in 2003, 2004, we looked at the campus in that big picture sense. How do we deal with rainwater runoff? How do we reduce the amount of water runoff that's leaving campus? And how do we increase the quality or improve the quality? How do we ensure that UVic is, is in fact restoring water back into the, ground, uh, into the ground source rather than just putting it into pipes and sending it down the storm drains? So that integrated stormwater management plan has actually uh, made a ripple effect with a number of different infrastructure projects on campus. Everything from permeable paving to new types of designs in our parking lots um, to uh, collection of uh, and detention of rainwater where we didn't used to do that. So that integrated stormwater management plan is really a part of what our success is. We've also created a treated wastewater recycling program, and now after hearing Oliver's lecture this morning, I'm going to change the name, we just decided. Um, UVic is, is, is really lucky. We have a system right now that is avoiding the use, not saving, avoiding the use of over six and a half million liters of potable water annually right now. Right now. UVic takes, treats its wastewater coming out of uh, outdoor aquatic facilities on campus and our research labs. We are circulating that back through toilets and urinals in a number of different buildings. We have three buildings online right now. By the end of 2010, our aim is to have nine different buildings online. And actually, one of the things is to work in more applications, things like irrigation, fountain, and other uses on campus. That treated wastewater program is a really amazing opportunity to kind of show showcase this thinking beyond. We don't need to be using potable water for flushing toilets. We don't need to be using um, potable water for irrigating lawns. But that treated wastewater program works so well in tandem with that green building and infrastructure. So when you look at maximizing efficiency of water in a new building or renovation, and then you hook it up with this treated wastewater system, you really start to realize those maximum benefits. And as UVic is paying for water consumption coming into campus, in both municipalities and paying for it to go out in both municipalities, we see a real business case. And in fact, we know that this is the right thing to do simply because of our financial bottom line. So for us, that treated wastewater system really provides another example of how this whole water-centric planning is a key part of sustainability. We're also looking at our, our landscapes, uh, natural areas. UVic has over 150 acres of protected natural areas on campus. How do we continue to not only protect those, but restore them so that you have places like open creeks and streams that are healthy, ecologically functioning? And then how do we design our landscape areas that utilize your escaping, that, that real our hands-on ground nature scape programs where you're taking and, and planning and planting 
native natural drought tolerant species. 